move to the fore. Okay. Hey guys, so we're back. Um, this was where we ended up last time, but let's look for someplace rich. Because 350,000 is actually... possible. We, we, we don't need that. We, we need a couple million dollars. So if we could, um... Find a multi-million dollar area. This, this is in Hollywood. Let's ignore that. Or, no, it's in Griffith Park Observatory. Uh, let's ignore that, because I totally didn't, um, forget to record this. But yes, that one's still going. That, that thing was a 4 and a 10, yes. That was a beautiful match, thank you. I'd like to brag about that. Clearly what I need to do is swing that one around there, but in order to do that, I may have messed that up. <laughs> Start from scratch. Okay, but yes, back to, back to what I'm doing. Because that's the format I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to test this whole not actually paying attention to what you're doing thing. I don't know, it seems like I saw it somewhere, and it was good. I mean, they didn't do it quite like I do it, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to let you see what I'm seeing, so... Because what they were doing, they were just talking about something else that they were doing, but it wasn't related to... Why am I looking at a mountain? Stop looking at a mountain. Okay, so we're looking for rich people houses. Um, oh, we can go by this time. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just a general search. That's not a general, sir. <laughs> no, no. You don't want my feedback. Uh, ooh, there we go. That's more like it. Um, can you just do a general search? Thank you. 760,000, 1.4 million. Stuff like that. Uh, any price. We want top tiers. How much can I afford? No. 500,000. <laughs> Two, uh, let's go. Oh, wait. Can I change that number then? Ooh. <laughs> to, um, Max, why not? Anything upward of a million sounds like a fair bid for stuff that I probably really definitely would not buy his house. So sounds good. Update results. Why are we still in there? I don't want to be there. I want to be... Can I, can I get out of... Let's go random number. How many, how many, uh, five numbers? Perfect. I have no idea where that is. We could not find this area. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay, so these are all upwards of one million. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, let's even get out of California. Let's see if when I get out of California, I end up in the Mojave Desert. <laughs> see if I find some city in some place that has a name that sticks out to me. I genuinely have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> I think I'm in Mexico. Oh no, I'm in Arizona. Uh, let's go Colorado, because, you know, Colorado. Okay, let's see if I can find a city that's name just sticks out to me. Capital Peak. Don't want to live next to a mountain. That sounds incredibly stupid. I don't want my fake life next to a mountain. <laughs> Readjusting. Okay, here we go. Uh, Rifle Gap State Park. That sounds... Just silly. Let's zoom in on that. Um. I swear there was a 1.76 million house. There we go. Uh, Rifle Creek. Okay, so we're looking for West Rifle Creek Road. West Rifle. Oh. Well, it's not coming up. Creek. Colorado. There we go. That's probably the same place, right? I thought. Road? They came up with the same place. Do I need to zoom in more so that I can understand where I'm at? Or do I need to use a map like a normal human? There we go. Uh, no, I'm seeing absolutely nothing here. Oh, it's a massive plot of land. Yeah, that's not useful. <laughs> I think this is where they sent me, isn't it? Uh, off of Railroad Avenue in 16? Probably. Uh, there's 16th. This is probably Railroad, right? 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 Railroad, yeah, okay. So we're gonna search for stuff in this area then. I don't know why. Because cause I ended up here. And these are not upwards of a million, though. <laughs> oh, 
But wait, we've got one that's upward of a million. Okay, it's on White River and 16. I need 16th Street and Anvil White River. Oh, right there. I think that's White River, right? Okay, White River. Okay, let's 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 check out this one. See see what that's like. This will be fun. Um, I think it might be a state park. <laughs> Selling for 1.8 million. Ah, uh, we're on the wrong side of the road. Um. Ooh. I like this sort of treacherous look, but it also looks like you don't exactly have much of a house. Can I see this from the overhead again? I'm not entirely... It's from September 2012 that this rolled through. Oh, no, you got a couple of houses, actually. How far does that property extend? Uh, it extends all the way across. It covers those three. Definitely easy. So you got a shed up here. You got a probably two-car garage right there. Um, that looks like maybe a second-story house by the way the roof is. Um, you might have a pool down there. Though I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's not a map trap. Yeah, it's someone's driveway. Um, but you also have a couple of houses here. Ooh, you've got wreckage. Is that your wreckage? Do you own that wreckage? I think they might not. No, it's that thing right there, isn't it? Yeah. I wanted them to own the city dump. That would have been hilarious and cool. Okay, let's find somewhere else. Hmm. Because I still got nine minutes to burn. Let's find some place north of here. I'm looking for a big city. Because someday I'll be far enough that you can't hurt me or something, I don't know. Taylor Swift saying something about a city. A city? A city? Oh snap, it's gone wrong. But, but, but I was in Meeker Airport. <laughs> you might have my attention. <laughs> 5.25 million dollar house right next to an airport. That seems suspicious. Where are we? Um... Where? I don't even know where I'm at. There's a white river. Can you give me, like... Where, where is this? Nope, copy. That's the exact opposite of copying. <sighs> Here we go. This is where we're at. Where do we need to be to hit that $5 million house? Uh, the $5 million house is up there. Literally on the airport, right? No. Bit off. Uh, right behind a school. I think it might be the school. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, I think it might be the school. Uh, let's get a... The school might be that up there. Let's find out. Oh, oops, we're done with that one. Um, can I get a Google Earth? That would be great. Okay, Google Earth not so useful when you're, um, shooting through clouds. But looking at this cloud cover, whose great idea was it to build an airport under the only square of the world that has clouds? Seriously, that sounds like a bad idea. Um, can we get a newer image? Newer image? Refreshed image? Okay, looks like I gotta navigate based on streets. <sighs> Bob Tucker Drive and School Street. This is a street, School Street, and that's probably Bob Tucker. That's probably Bob Tucker. Okay, I've decided it's Bob Tucker whether it is or not. Um, and I can't stand on that street because it's not a mapped road. Seriously? Okay, well they just rolled across this town. Never mind, we're skipping that 5.5 million dollar property, it's probably a school. Even though I re really would like to live in a school, right? Because who, who ever wants to be anywhere but at their school? I still got six minutes to burn before this segment's over. I must find... What is the housing like near the cemetery? Oh wait, are those actually houses? Oh, they're farm. Only farm people live near cemeteries. That's that's doesn't even make any sense. Imini? Imini Maybe hell. Wait, can you own a mountain? 
But it's a four bedroom, four bathroom on the side of a mountain. <laughs> Are you sure there's a four bedroom, four bathroom there? Because I really don't think so. I think that's what we call wasteland next to a river. Is it like four trailers sitting next to each other or? Well, that would explain why it's four bedroom, four bathroom. Let's see, where did I go? I think I followed the river, didn't I? Oh, I don't even know. Let's find us a nice place. I think I might go longer than thir than 15 minutes on this one. So I don't know. Ooh, let's go to Antananarivo. Does this thing go out of America? Let's find out. Mm, oh, yes, it does. Okay. Uh, Africa. Antananarivo. Oh, Antananarivo's got some houses upward of a million? No, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Wow, um... Come on, keep zooming. Uh, let's remove any price restrictions. I have a feeling that that's going to update us in a negative. No results. <laughs> I don't think there are any sales in Madagascar right now. So anyone who likes penguins, sorry. Um... I'm so sorry I said penguins, it should have been any other characters, really. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. To Kazakhstan? No, Kazakhstan, probably not, no. Ooh, let's go to Afghanistan, because there's no heated debates there right now. Um, can I update this? Well, that was useful. Okay, I don't think there are any houses for sale anywhere in the world other than America. So we're going back to America! Whee! Atlantic Ocean. Let's go to Indiana. One new home. Three new homes. 73 new homes. Uh, let's go. What looks good? Oh, Kindleville. I like the sound of that. I, I lost Kindleville. Um, I, I, I genuinely lost Kindleville. Okay, it's over there. It's under the big sludge of houses. Bixler Lake. Huh, you got lots of farm in here, apparently. Um, well, you guys keep up the good work, because I do not want to be a farmer. I want to be an accountant. Uh, but let's see. What have we got? What have we got? Elmwood. Downy side, sunny side, I mean. Um, hmm. You got Newman Drive, uh, Harding Street, Kruger's. What do we got that's expensive? These houses cost like nothing. Well, probably because you're in Indiana. Let's not be in Indiana then. Um, I mean, no nothing against Indiana. You've got great housing prices. You're not all packed into a postville. That's my kind of place. In we go. West Union postville. There it is. Disappeared on me. Ooh, now this. This is looking good. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where exactly in postville would anyone want to live? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh... I don't know, I'm thinking... Something gridded, but I've got to own more than one grid. Wait, just as a matter of interest, do they not have fence between their houses? No photos available. Okay. Okay, so we're looking for South Maple Street. This one right here. Um... Fine, go choose it. Deadlands, we in we go. Ah, uh, Google Earth, please. Do do. Oh man, look at this. Except these are actually four houses, aren't they? Um, was that what we established? East Williams was below the one we want, or above the one we want. It was actually a bu I don't know. Okay, 
We want... Okay, East Williams is above the one we want. So then what is this one? Other than not appraised. <laughs> but I like that one. Ooh, what about this one right here? This one right here. Okay, so you're gonna go down East Williams until you see a swimming pool, and then you're gonna go south. Got it. We first road right there. Beautiful. And that's not a swimming pool, but beside the point. That's as far in as I can zoom. Dude, is this like a... How tall is this house, or is it just casting a, an amazing shadow? Darn these small towns and their inability of people to drive through them. But that's like the coolest place ever. Okay, I need to choose a big city. Fine, fine, fine. Because someday I'll be living in a big old city. Western Union. No, we're, we're looking for a big city. A big city, something that sticks out. Something that really sticks out in Nebraska. I'm looking for a big city in Nebraska. I don't see the slightest problem with this. Uh, ooh, do we want to go to the clump to the right or the clump to the left? Let's go to the clump to the right around Springfield. Oh, Springfield's not the popular area, apparently. Um, Boys Town. Boys Town. There's that. Ooh, Dodge Junction. No, 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 no. We must follow all of the red dots. We're looking for big cities only. Big cities that are under 100,000. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm used to California rates for housing. We stay over 100,000 and approximately 300,000. Uh, what are we looking for? Deer Park. Uh, let's go towards the big red clump right here. I'm sure this is a big city. I have no idea what this city is, but, uh, oh my gosh, that, that would pain me greatly to live there. It's not gridded at all. It's horrible. What is this road? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That one right there. We are finding out everything about it. I know it's off market, but for the right price... This house is worth $492,834. Yeah, right. For the right price, it's worth 700 gazillion. Um, let's claim it, because, you know, Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska. That's why it's a big city. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, make earthy. There we go. I think it was here. Crap, I lost it. There it is. Look at that crisscross. Okay, all the trees would have to fall. But it is Nebraska. So. The trees do keep the snow off your house. Wait, is this part of that? Oh, that's cool. I like it. It's like... It really is like nothing you get around here in Cali. I mean, we'd have to chop that down. And that tree and that tree and I'd have to hire a gardener to keep that tree exactly cut on that line I'm um, sorry I have free spinning mouse and I hit it Dude, th there's no road sign this would never be allowed in California <laughs> to be honest <laughs> because it's like am I allowed to go that way am I not allowed to go that way in California there would be lawsuits about why I was allowed to go that way even though there's a stop sign way up there um, which is actually partially obscured by a tree, which is weird. Well, I never thought I'd say this about Nebraska. This actually looks really, really quite amazing. Please, why didn't you take that route? I wanted to see this house from right in front of it. Uh... <laughs> I've gotten all confused and spun around on Country Club Avenue. Where? That house is the one I was looking at, that's right. <laughs> I'm like, where did I go? I don't even know where I'm at. I think. Hello, friend. This was taken in June of 2011, so this is summer. That explains why it's green and not white. <laughs> uh, okay. There's like no curb. It's like two inches high. Oh, here we go. We got a great view here. 
Dude, look at that. They've got their own Christmas trees. That's flipping cool. Um. <laughs> like, it's gotta be two stories, not three. No way. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I realize you get greater value the further you move away from big cities. In California, the further you move away from California, you get better value for your house. Um. I, I'm not sure I can survive with all those bricks stacked up there, but I know I might keep that tree because that one is cool, and I might force it to grow out over the road like that. And the certain laws against that? No, they're clearly not. And I would force that one to grow out like that right over your head. That would be cool. Um, let's scoot over a little. Um, I might also see if I can get the city to. Fix up every. By the way, I didn't even notice. Is there a driveway to this house? <laughs> I think that might be a problem. Oh, you would have to skim so many leaves off that pool if there's a pool back there. I know there's a trampoline, but I think that little white square is beginning of a pool. Wait, do they have a basketball hoop in the front yard and the backyard? Oh, mowing that lawn would be a hassle. Shoveling snow off that lawn would be even worse. Wait, let's solve that question right now. Um. Get snow in Australia. No, Nebraska. Um, I'm gonna go with yes. But let's let's see an alternate source. Uh, the weather is currently 22 Fahrenheit. It's a bit colder than what I'm used to. Um, <clears throat> with a five mile an hour wind. Ooh, you've got the top 15 snowplow services in Omaha. I'm going to go with... It, it, wait. N no snow in December. No snow in December. That sounds good. Uh, when does it snow in Nebraska and Iowa? Let's find out. You're a meteorologist. I trust your opinion completely and wholeheartedly, right? On an average, the first cold breaks snow early. Mid-November can be earlier. Okay, so, yeah, you get snow. I'm gonna go with... Um, and the reason Google Images pops up first is because I don't have Google bookmarked. I have Google Images bookmarked right in the center, so that's the first tab I hit when I need a new tab. I could realistically pop up in Google like that, but that's just boring. Also, you can now see all of my um, inappropriate things, like the one that I'm covering up. Make sure you cover up that idiot. You, me, editing this in the future. There's a certain one you want to cover up because it gives away exactly where you live, and that's not okay. So bye guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, moving on. Um, I swear, there's the driveway, am I dumb? Wait, no, that's not our driveway, is it? Oh yeah, it is. One, two, three car garage. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That might just be the hallway I'm looking for. That might just be the hallway I'm looking for. Do we have a, um... The same street view I had on before? Uh, I can get a professional estimate? No. What is... 3,521 square feet. I don't know what that means. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we've got central cooling. I have no idea what that means. He heating is other. Last sold in August of 1993 for $169,000. Uh, when was this made? It's uh, 0.39 acres, a single family, built in 1930. That's 800 square feet of garage. A basement? That is cool. Which now raises a new question. Um, uh, what, what, what are those hurricanes that aren't water? Tornadoes, there we go. Let's go. There we go. Let's see. Can we get an opinion on this? I'm sure these numbers mean something. What do they mean? Uh, where, where's Omaha? <laughs> <laughs> Omaha, down there. Um, where, where in Omaha are we? 
We are... How do I get out of here? I need to escape. Back to map. Big button. Corner. Uh, we are in... Between the 80 and the 680. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Where's the 80? There's a 680. Which means the 80 should be, like, right here-ish. So we're in general here. We're in North Omaha. Uh, we've had a tornado, which was a 1. And I'm assuming a bigger number is horrible, because that red swings all the way over there, whereas an unknown swings slightly lower, and 1s don't seem to swing very far at all. So yeah, tornadoes bad in other areas of Nebraska, not so bad here. I don't know, Omaha is not looking bad. What time is it, by the way? It's like... It's past 4.20. I missed the chance to freaking blaze. Okay, now, I had another question regarding... Um, 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 no idea what it was. But we are right next to the Epley Airfield. So there's that going for it as well. Anyone who does not know the Epley Airfield, get familiar with the Epley Airfield. It's... Let's go take an, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a professional tour from professional of the Epley Airfield. What have I found here? There is no way this is a house. This has to be like a school or something. I think it might be. Let's find out. Um, can we go back on that? Thank you. Uh, it should be a little to this way. There's Military Avenue. Um, I'm, I'm just spouting what I see. I'm not actually knowing what I'm spouting. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, why, 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 why do you not like recording and doing that thing-related thing? We've been going for 27 minutes. Should be fine. Oh, right here. What is this place? It's part of a park. Well, who wants a park in the middle of a place that snows? There's no point. That looks silly. What is that? A silly-looking thing. Um... The silly looking thing is a bit of a fenced in area. No idea why it is a fenced in area. Can I get a, um. Ah, they fly! <laughs> they have flying blobs in Omaha, Nebraska. So they've got that. What's that a tent? It's a tent. So that's creepy. Probably an airplane hangar, because we're so close to the airport. That's not even close to the airport. We're not we're not there yet. Calm you yourself down. Where did my airport go? Famous airport? Epley Airport? There we go. East Omaha Epley Airport. Here we go. Now I'm going to show you all of the airport. We got Abbott Drive and Acoma Avenue. These are the roads that you do not approach on. I'm looking for a particular road here. Uh, where is my road? It swings around here, down the Missouri River. Limber Drive, there we go. Now we're going to want to swing right the way around the airport. Right the way around there, like that. I believe that this is the right spot. Did they map this area? Oh, they did as well. Okay, then we can get a better view. Can you drop me in that hole? Can you drop me in that hole? Can you, little orange man, in the hole? Well, what little orange man does not want to get in somebody's hole? In the hole. In the hole. Just do this manually, like some peasant who's not shopping for multi-billion dollar homes. I'm not sure why there's a gate leading directly to the, um, vast nothingness of the Missouri River, but okay. Yeah, see, they don't like you coming in this way unless you know the people. And they're totally cool with it. But this is definitely not an Amarillo sky. Dude, the vast nothingness of these airports. Nothing like LAX. Much better. Speaking of, Epley Airport ought to have a tower about here-ish. Unless I'm wrong. Let's find out. Can I zoom out? Back to map. Lindbergh Planet, on Google Earth, I'm looking for the tower. It should be about here-ish somewhere. I swear there was a tower here. Um, where, where's, where's my, where's my freaking tower? Amelia Earl, 
We do the middle. I'm still just spewing stuff. I swear there was also a tower over here. I think it's not. Apparently I don't know Epley Airport as well as I thought, but this is Epley Airport. Look at all the freaking parking. I mean, when you've got to deal with... What the heck is this? Why, why is this here? Nobody wants this here. Can we get rid of this? Nobody wants this here. That could have more parking and stuff. That would be useful. Ah, uh, Carter Lay. But look at this. How many planes could you possibly house in this place? This is amazing. Is that normal? Oh, okay. I'm like, there's a normal pickup truck on the runway. That's not acceptable. Uh, <laughs> Dude, this music is just charming as... I don't even know, man. Oh, we're almost out of um, musicality. I'm gonna have to stop soon, so... So yeah, I'm gonna, um, just, uh, keep this going until the opportune moment when I can, um, uh, stop. So I guess, uh, that that's your professional tour of Epley Airport. Is that... Okay, anyways, and this is the most important entrance right here. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna come in here if you know the guy who's taking care of it, and you're gonna pop right in here. He's going to drive you straight up to your plane, and you've got a personal plane set up for you. But that's the thing that we don't talk about, in it. Private jets and all that. Um, let's follow the Missouri River just to end this, you know, because... I don't know. So let's get rid of uh, that. What if you lived on a houseboat that repeatedly f burped, that repeatedly went up and down the Missouri River? That would be so cool, right? Or am I the only one thinking this? I, I'm definitely the only one thinking it in winter, because a houseboat would be kind of hard to keep warm. Oh, wait, what have we got here? We've got some sort of water treatment plant. Huh. So there's that, um... <laughs> Papillion Creek. Okay. We're still in Nebraska, Iowa. Okay. Seriously? We haven't found the split yet? Okay. I'm just gonna follow the river. We. Oh, what's this house in nowhere? Sir, you live in the middle of nowhere. Like, there's nowhere up there. There's nowhere up there. There's nowhere over there. You've got your one neighborhood you can walk across. But you live in the middle of nowhere, sir. You've got a mass of nowhere coming directly beside you. Okay, we're not, we're not gonna disturb the man living in the middle of nowhere. What the heck is that crossing the river? Oh. Pipes. No, not pipes. What are those? I can't tell. Power lines. I know they're power lines, but I think there are pipes right under those. Huh. I thought I missed something. This misery. Ah, uh, that's a misery. To have to read the word misery. Ah, uh, Keg Creek. I have nothing against misery. It's just a weird word. Where, where, where do they get these weird names for places? I mean, obviously, like, Lafayette Drive would be because there's a guy named Lafayette, but... Okay, we're going to be ending this here because uh, we'll end on Mud Creek because we finally beat the thing over there, so bye guys. I collected the computer, yay me. Who freaking wrong, what I am amazing. I am just absolutely stunning and amazing and beautiful and perfect. And that's good for me, so we're gonna go to the next level. Okay, here we go. So now, um, this level really threw me for a loop. And as you can tell, I've stopped recording the, um, one on the side there, so 
Clearly I'm going to be ending sometime soon, possibly very extremely soon because I'm going to rage quit because... This level is hard, and any, anyone looking at it with a brain is probably going to say otherwise, but this level is freaking hard. I need to get that 9 to that 1, but I don't want to block that insert arrow up there. And I need to get those two 2s next to each other. See, see the problem here? I'd have to block that 2 in, which I do, because I'm an idiot. So it's like no real way to solve this one. I mean, I like starting with the top right corner, because the top right corner is usually very... Um... Top writery. I don't even know. Um, but like, when you get to this, it's just like, what do you even do? I don't... <laughs> There's no real way to solve the problem. Oh, and, and then I do do this, and it's like, <laughs> backtracking all over the place, I don't know what I'm doing, and... <laughs> what are you doing past me? Do you not know what you're doing? And like, there you can do that, and you can't back it off, it's like, uh, one way only. And that's not acceptable for whatever reason. So it's like, really, how am I supposed to even attack this? I don't even know what to do. It's like, seriously, who made this and thought this was a good idea? This level is extremely hard. The only thing it's got going for it is that it's still got the same soothing music. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, idiot? You, do, you just burned all of your opportunities. Yeah, throw that nine at the wall. Good job. You're a moron. You wanna quit this game, and you wanna know why? Because you're not smart enough to play it. Why would you put a ten in the center? What kind of a moronic idiot throws a number right in the center? You an absolute dolt? Now, if you were smart, you would spend. No, not like that. I think I may have seen exactly how I'm supposed to do this, but I'm not going to do it again because the next level will be absolutely life threateningly annoying and. Yeah, good job. Now you've got two sixes, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Why don't you try another square, moron? Stop trying the same combinations. See, now that's where you started. Okay, yeah, 6, 8, and then what are you going to do? Are you going to throw that 2 over there? Good job. Are you going to throw it in the way? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, good job. Psh. Moron. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> good job. You are an idiot. I hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, not the soothing music. I liked the soothing music. That was the one good thing about the whole game and the reason that I... What are you doing now? No, do not you end this video. Bye.